what's up people this is TJ uh, welcome back to another one uh, today we're working on finishing up well not even finishing up it's, it's a long process for the electrical uh, but we're continuing the process of installing the electrical stuff uh, today I'm gonna start putting up the the wall board here uh, so I can start uh, temporarily mounting uh, the electronics the inverter the charge controller uh, the circuit breakers and stuff on the wall temporarily until I can figure out the cabinets uh, but that's what I'm working on right now. So I'm going to start on cutting this out and all of that So we're gonna put these All of that stuff Some of that stuff uh, Right here. Uh, so the height for all of the board is going to be a uh, 81 and 5 eighths uh, high and then right here is just like a quick measurement uh, For uh, to get this angle right here so I can keep this axis panel I don't want to block that so I just want to make sure I could cut it cut the shape right So that way I still could gain access to the AC lines. So uh, in case you have to service those You don't want those blocked into the wall. You have to worry about cutting So it's best to just get it like cut right the first time right now So that way down the line if I have to service those will be good to go. But uh, yeah right now we're just gonna jot down those measurements and cut this board. Okay, so uh, this is what we have right here. We're gonna bring this outside. I have this uh, nice little razor blade actually found in the wall. So whoever originally assembled the van, if you're looking for this, I got it. I appreciate the gift. <laughs> it does have uh, extra blades inside of it also, which should make life a little easier. I need a tape measure, don't I? Hold that thaw, I'm going to get a tape measure, and we'll be right back. So those are the first cuts for the, the particle board or wall board, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so that was a success. Uh, I didn't mess up. Uh, for uh, the edges, it doesn't have to be perfect. That stuff is going to be hidden. And on the board, there's like a chip at one side, but uh, uh, that's going to be hidden also. So it's kind of pointless just throwing away a whole board because of a chip. Just make sure you kind of cut around those difficulties and I forgot to, to cut something uh, right here in this corner I forgot to measure that so we need to do that so let me do that right now and I'm gonna put you back where you were and that's gonna go in that corner so actually it worked out real nice the chip that's in the board is actually about to be removed uh, let me go measure. Ok, 
Okay, so I have the wall board all installed. Well, the portion that I wanted to install. Uh, so right here, this is where I'm gonna temporarily uh, put all of the breakers, inverters, charge controllers, all that's going right there. Uh, so that will be uh, next time. So we have 50 amp breaker, outlet breaker, charge controller for the solar, the inverter. That's all going to end up oh, in the combination box for uh, each individual uh, solar panel. So those are all going to go up on the wall next time. That's, gonna, that's what I'm going to work on next time. Uh, so for right now, I'm uh, satisfied where it's at right now. It's about dinner time, so <laughs> got to go get the grub on. But anyways, I appreciate all you guys for uh, checking me out. Uh, like, subscribe. Got a lot more coming. Uh, the hot water heater that's coming uh, the fresh water the gray tank that's coming propane tank that's coming so uh, we have a lot more to do well I want to say like a lot more it's just a bunch of tedious things but uh, we're getting very close but I appreciate your time see you on the next one peace TJ